This will be my beautiful testing grounds today for casting. Don't have to worry about anybody else around. Check yourself for packaging. I just opened up and this is a really super, super thick plastic sealable bag. And both sides are still sealed. How's that? But this is what I got. Some more fleeing shrimp. This is the live target fleeing shrimp. This had won the uh, new best soft body lure ward at ICAST in 2018. Um, comes in two sizes. This size here, which is quarter, um, quarter ounce, and, which is seven grams. Comes in a, um, larger size which is three and a half inches which is three eighths ounces but this one here is two and three quarter what's good about this is called the fleeing shrimp because a, a true shrimp or crustacean will flee um and that would be fleeing is using the tail to cup the water it'll be going skirt this way that's the true way and it, it'll look natural to fish a lot of the old time lures would have the hook in the back going forward like that which is all wrong doesn't look natural to the predator fish but this will look natural so as you can see here you got your uh, lead jig here with your grommet hole for your line to go through so on the they give you a free backup here so remember where the hook comes up you see the ridges on the top here the hook comes out to the first ridge so you gotta remember that so if this ever gets chewed up you got to use, you have to use this one. You have to remember that when you put the hook through there, it has to exit. At that point, you always look at where it should exit. So I find it really nice that Live Target will not only give you your lure, but the backup. So what is special about this is, is because it does look real. Look at that, it does look real. So when it's escaping, it's escaping this way, which is, which is natural. So guess what? This lure is scented. Oh yeah. It, it'll come out, I can smell something there, but it'll come out more when it's wet. So once it's in the water, it's gonna leave a scent trail. And it also has a rattling noise. Most, all crustaceans um, make a rattling noise when they're, when they're going along like that. So when he's going along, it's, there's a rattle chamber side that will make a rattling noise. So with the noise and the scent, that's gonna be great for um, driving a predator crazy. What I like about this is, because, is that the hook is not facing down the tip, it's facing up just because the way it's arranged and weighted. So when you throw it on the flats, uh, rock piles, it's gonna jump, it's gonna jump, it's gonna jump with the hook up. So, because you don't want the hook down because it's going to get caught on the rocks, get caught in the coral, get caught in obstruction. Now, it still might get caught on something like the wings over here uh, might get caught underneath a rock. Um, there might be an old fishing line there and, and the hook might get caught up, but this is pretty solid the way it is. And I'm going to, I want to use this in the field, but uh, I'm going to have to figure out how much distance I can get. This is a smaller one in two or three quarters. It's, um, uh, excuse me quarter ounce uh, so I, I think I'm gonna want to use this one more when I target bone fishing jacks but let's go try it go out in the field and see what it does so this is what it's gonna look like off of my mustache clip so this is what I use for all my jigs and all my lures and this is just for target practice but um if I was to go out in the field in clear water, I would um, splice on line, another needle line to this, or just uh, put this directly on the main line. Main line in this rig is six pound mono, so it's meant for light application. So let me just get a couple of throws in, see what it feels like. Just to get the feel of it. Not bad, not bad at all. 
that at all? This here is my measuring device. Um, it me it's in uh, meters. Oh boy, kids running all over the place. It's in meters. Okay. So um, when you push this in, that's it. it, it it's gonna um, zero it out. So I just attach it right at the connection point, just at the bottom part, because it, it, the ferro tends to be a little bit thicker over there. So let me just um, take some excess line out and twirl it once, twice, three times around. Right there, it's roughly where I started from. Now, you remember this reads in meters, uh, so it's what, 3.3 .3 or more exactly 3.28 3, uh, 3 feet per meter. So it's saying 966, so that means um, 966, 34, oh uh, yeah, 34 meters. I just chucked this thing 34 meters, so to get how many feet that is, I would have to times that by 3.3 feet, or more exactly 3.28 feet. I'm gonna do that later. I'm just giving the stats now so I can do this at a later date. So that's pretty much average because um, I'm throwing this way. The wind is, is going that way. So um, I'm not going with the wind. It's almost crossing into it. So it's, it's a good indication of what would be out there. So again, that's what you can see that stats there. That's what the Celilo, the nine and a half footer that it, or yeah, nine and a half footer that is um, rated as a light. So I'm actually kind of, I didn't think it was going to go that far to be honest, but, and, it, and this was very smooth with my Gomexis knob that I had put on. Now we're going to try the big boy. Uh, the reason why I'm going with these rods because these are very lighter, they are lighter ratings for uh, distance, you know, for the um, the length. I'm looking for longer length. So this is my other one. This is a 10 and a half foot SST medium. So you can, you can see the stats there for yourself. This one here is brought in um, fish up to 10 pounds. And again, the reason why I chose these rigs because they have um, length and they're not thick rods, they're very thin rods. So hopefully I'm gonna get the distance, the whipping distance I'll need to get that lure out. That lure is just under three inches, only two and three quarter inches, and it only weighs a quarter ounce, all right? So I'm kind of impressed so far with the nine and a half footer. Got it way out there. Let's see what this one will do. So I'm reading 968. I think that's a little less than the other ones. I mean, I, I said it too when I was telling you, I noticed that it, I wasn't getting the, the distance that I, I that I was getting in the other ones. I could just tell by eyeballing it. Yep, look at that. 968, so that's 32 meters on that one. And I'm gonna have to times that by 3.28 when I get back home and that'll give me the actual um, distance I threw this. All right, so my impression is that I would say this one here all around was the better choice. I was getting farther distance with this even during the practice. This is the nine and a half foot Celilo uh, light application with my 3000 Helios six pound test um, mono. I would say this is probably all around the better, but if I'm going for bigger fish in an area with this uh, big fish around, more powerful fish, I would go with the SST here. This is 10 and a half feet medium application. Um, this has a little larger reel, it's the 4,000 rather than the 3,000. Line in this 10 pound braid, so roughly the same diameter. But this uh, is obviously a lot heavier, it feels heavier. And for me, it, it, it required a little bit more movement to it. Whereas this 
slide on here required hardly any move whatsoever in getting those lines out.